In today's video, we are gonna go through a cross training routine for those of you that enjoy walking as your form of exercise. These exercises are absolutely essential if you wanna maintain your strength, maintain your balance confidence, and really push your fitness walking to the next level. If you're new to this channel, I'm Tara, I'm a neurologic physical therapist, and on this channel we talk about anything and everything related to mobility, health, fitness, and mindset with the end goal of empowering you with as many tools as possible to take ownership of your health and your overall mobility, to live an overall more active, more mobile, pain-free, happier, healthier life. And all that said, let's go ahead and dive into today's routine. All right, so first we're just gonna start with single leg standing. Now, if you're over the age of 65, falls are a risk factor. Being able to single leg stand for three to 10 seconds is ideal and really dramatically decreases your risk of falling. So if you are someone who walks for fitness and you really enjoy it, uh, definitely practicing single leg standing every single day will really optimize your walking performance, but also decrease your risk of falling. So key to single leg standing, if you haven't worked on this in a while, is to try and center your center of mass, the center of your body, your belly button, directly over one foot. Now, it's okay if you wobble a little bit. That actually means that your body's actually learning something and your muscles are getting stronger. So don't worry if it's not perfect or if you wobble a little bit. A great place to start is in a corner. I talk about this quite a bit on this channel. It gives you kind of boundaries. Your goal is to just, because this is what usually happens as people kind of bounce off the walls a little bit. Your goal is just to get to a point where you bounce off the walls less frequently. Sometimes it's even beneficial just to put your fingertips on the wall and then bring your fingers off the wall. If you absolutely cannot do that, then the first step would be, or a step right before that would be to just try and stand with your feet in a straight line. If you have kind of an involved leg or a weaker leg, uh, put that foot in the back because that foot, foot has the tendency to do more of the balancing work. And then when you feel like you're able to, or you feel a little bit stronger or more confident, you can try picking that leg up. So single leg standing, absolute number one cross training activity for fitness walking. All right, next exercise is what we call high amplitude stepping. So you're just gonna take like a dramatic step forward and step back, alternate, dramatic step forward and step back, switch forward and step back. Now, the benefit of this, these exercises were originally, the way that I learned them, were originally designed for people with Parkinson's disease. One symptom of some people with Parkinson's disease is what they call hypokinetic movement or low amplitude movement. So the way we kind of offset or retrain the brain to not do those small movements is to do high amplitude movements. So why do I think this is, this is beneficial? Some people have a tendency when they start to not feel so balanced, we'll just take smaller steps. So I think these high amplitude movements can be used with anyone, whether you have Parkinson's disease or not. You're taking a dramatic step forward and back and then switch legs, dramatic step forward and back. Now, if you do this at a pretty good rate, you're actually gonna get a little bit of a cardio workout in as well. So if you don't walk every day, maybe this would be a great exercise to do on your off days. All right, so you're just gonna alternate, big step forward. All right, and then you're gonna do the same thing to the side, step out to the side and back. You wanna make it very dramatic, make that step very definitive out to the side and back out to the side and back and then switch. Same thing, side and back, side and back. Now, one thing that we see with people that have Parkinson's disease because they have this low amplitude movement or hypokinetic movement is that they think they're bringing their feet back together but their foot's actually only coming like halfway back and then they're going back into it. So. I do think that these are beneficial whether you have Parkinson's disease or not. And there's a similar compensation that does occur with people even if they don't have Parkinson's disease. So when you are doing these, make sure that you're bringing your feet all the way back together and then stepping back out to the side. All right, and then we're gonna do the same thing going backwards. You're gonna take a big step back, rock back, forward, rock back, 
forward, switch legs, rock back, forward, and rock back, and forward and back up. All right. And then the last one in this series is you're going to start with your feet kind of stagger standing, and you're going to rock forward and back, forward and back again. We're doing like an exaggerated walk. It may look easy, but wait until you try this. Having to shift your weight and center your weight and lift a leg all at the same time will be challenging for some of you. And again, these are all things that are movements that are part of the gait cycle. So practicing just these movements will help to strengthen the muscles that are going to make it easier for you to walk, decrease your risk of falls, and improve your overall walking efficiency. So highly, highly, highly recommend. All right, you're just going to do a rock, swinging those arms. If you can't lift your legs, you don't feel balanced, then you can keep your foot on the ground, but just do the weight shift. Okay? You can keep both feet on the ground and just shift that weight forwards and backwards. All right, and then that is it for this video. Just a quick little cross training routine for you fitness walkers, give you something to do on your off days. If you're new to this channel and you like this type of content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and turn on that notification bell so that you'll get notified every time I upload new videos. I enjoyed spending time with you all today and I'll see you on the next video. Have a good day. Mm -hmm.